It's so good, isn't it? Are you doing boxing now? Um, no, I, I used to love boxing when I was a teenager. That was my teenage, but no. I am going to start boxing around the corner. I used to no, love it. Mm. On to the one in Chadwell. Yeah, I went past Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that, isn't that where Joe McGann goes? Is it? In Shadwell? I think so. Does it? Oh, cool. I I'm going to text him later. Didn't He's we? really into the boxing. That's cool. G's with G loves it as well. Oh, yeah. G. Love G. Um, okay, where were we? Oh, yeah, the second spiritual thing for your knapsack. Oh, yeah. There. I think I think a bit of Parker Palmer. Oh, yeah. How do I get back on your questions, my love? Um... Yeah, the it's really strange because basically one of my roles during the trial was to like bring the religious card, and I'm not. Was like, that a strategy thing? What for the public campaign? It just it just made sense in terms of like trying to do a justification defence <laughs> and like to bring the like I did this because of my moral conviction yeah. stuff and sort of bringing all this like world official language in and like basically I only discovered. Quakerism as a as a thing very recently and then I sort of had to leap in and use it for this this political this this legal end and and oh it, it it was really like uncomfortable at times but I was like okay I just have to go whole hog with this because because it has to be used like this but the like I think one of the things I love about Quakerism is it's very human it's like the the red book that we use is just loads of um quotes from people like the red book is like the quaker bible yeah, yeah but it's just it's all just quotes from like normal people oh wow and it's updated every few years and it's always like it's organized into chapters like social responsibility or um mm -hmm. personal relationships oh yeah ta. Fucking um, yeah and like it's just every time I open it, I'm like, here is another human who said some really useful stuff, and I I find it it really does like replenish me mm. when I go to it for help. It does help me, so I'd take that because I find that there's like there's something like deeper there that I'm tapping into. Like I'm someone who my family is not into like activism and whatnot, like a lot of us, and. So this like feeling of being part of a history and part of elders is really yeah. like super nourishing to me, and I find that when I look at something and like this person who also called themselves a Quaker said this in like the seventies or the twenties, mm. that really feels like deep and beautiful. Mm. Um, so I'd take that. Yeah. Have you read a lot of Alistair Macintosh's stuff? I've read Soil and Soul. Yeah. And I've got a copy of the Matt Carmichael spiritual activism book. Spiritual activism, oh, leadership of service. Yeah. yeah. I haven't read it yet. I've just reordered that. Um, well, you gave it to someone. You yeah. Who you gave it to. Yeah, yeah I, oh, I've quite all of it. I've well, given so many books. <laughs> I'm, his stuff is powerful, really powerful. I need to read the, I need to read it. It's the time is now for me to read that. Him and yeah. Donald Dorr, who he's inspired by. Great name. Donald Dorr, great name. D-O-N-A-L-D-O-R-R. -R. He's an Irish priest, Quaker, I'm not sure. But he does his book his main book is called deepest hearts De desire mm. i've got it on a pdf i sent it to you nice um, um, also john donahue i haven't is he irish as well i think so yeah he, he does lots of celtic designs yeah in his book but it's it's that's a book uh, a friend lent me from like a quaker library somewhere and again it's like like parker palmer's writing it's got that really acknowledging the darkness yeah that exists alongside the light because like for instance i know that my my outward persona is really like yeah exciting everything's exciting we're bouncy bouncy but like the the dark part of that light is, is really very dark and i'm trying to find ways to look after that so it doesn't fuck me up <laughs> yeah i mean but that's why that's your powers yeah yeah that's right. your powers and that's yeah. why your lightness isn't superficial yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's the same. It's like I ain't no strip light. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fuck you in your strip light. No, exactly, mate. Also, the thing about family is like, <coughs> you know, it must have been, I don't know how you dealt with it, but it must have been earthy. Like, you compare your family and like May's family on the trial, for example. Yeah. And it's not like, sometimes I do get jealousy when I see like, 
Oh, Whatever, yeah. even Dan's family. Like when him and his mum together, I'm like, oh, don't get jealous. Um, oh, hon, I hear you. In it, like, May's Sam's... like three thousand aunts came. I'm like, oh my god, here's it's... another aunt, here's it's... another aunt, here's yeah. another aunt. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh. Do you know, when I was speaking on trial, when I was like saying my whole life story and also my justification defence, my partner's family were behind me. His parents, not mine. Yeah. His parents. That was like the second time I'd met them. Yeah, and yeah. They were there, yeah. showing up for me. Yeah. And it, and it's a real like, kind of realisation, isn't it? Like, man, if I hadn't dealt with it in therapy, I wouldn't have been able to cope with that. Like, yeah. The whole, like, oh, these people have family and I, I, you know, I do, but I don't. Like, yeah, yeah. There's, there's well, there's things. biological family and then there's spiritual family. And there is, and I'm very rich in spiritual family. Very rich. Like but it's still a thing. The friends I've got, my God, I never thought I'd be this lucky. You know? Well, you deserve it. That's the thing. We all deserve family. Yeah, yeah. We all deserve family. And it's because of what you've been through and you haven't had that you've deserved even more. It is exactly the same thing. Like when I did the Shafted show, you know, the mm-hmm. jumping out the giant cock. Mm-hmm. Um, coming so out. It's so good. I just, so got some, we just stuck out some photos in there. Um, <laughs> and then I remember Tilly's mum and dad. You've met Tilly. No. But you know about Tilly. I know about Tilly. You get. You need to get to the book. We need to go to <laughs> see Alistair together and then go to the book. Oh, it's so nice. Um, I remember they were like, and it was just a normal, <coughs> I guess a normal question for them, but it really like struck me. In the like Q&A after the show, they were like, where's your mum and dad? And I'm like, because mm. it's just normal for us that they're not there. Yeah. Apparently, I'm quite glad they weren't there because they would have had a heart attack. <laughs> Jumping out of a giant cock, talking about sniffing loads of K <laughs> and having whatever. Um, for like two little Orthodox Jews living here. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's the thing, isn't it? Anyway, this is not my interview. Um... Um, wait, you've got, um... We're on the brick one. No, but what were the three, did you have three? Oh, three. Uh, Quakerism, the, it's Khalil Gibran, yeah. the prophet, it's not Rumi, no wonder yeah. I couldn't find him, I was googling it. The, and, um, well, it'd have to be, it'd have to be something fabulous, like, I think a Young Fathers album. Mm. Young Fathers are my favourite band at the moment, like, far and away every single album is just beautiful and they're also it's so danceable yeah. but it does not compromise one iota on poetry and political commentary mm. like it's just I don't know any music that synthesises those things those elements so poetry dance political commentary wow I really need to listen to them mate more. they are incredible mm. I've seen them live once I'm going to see them again in a couple of weeks in Bristol, I can't wait. They're British? They are British, they're from Edinburgh. Edinburgh? Oh yeah, well, of course they're great. Yeah, yeah. and they're all so hot. Well, really? Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, the Young Fathers. Young Fathers, yeah. I really need to listen to their stuff. Young Start fathers. off with, if oh, you watch the video, three. watch the video for shame. That these three? Be. Yeah, yeah, them. Oh my God, they're They're so all from lovely. Edinburgh? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, thank you. So my... Uh, oh, no, it's the 50th anniversary of the Stonewall Rights this year. 50th. Yeah, isn't it? Do we, do we need bricks now we have queer freedom? <laughs> if so, who would you chuck it at and why? Oh, uh, it's such a... It's such a funny thing to consider because on one hand, like... Here where we are in East London, we can like skip down the hand down down the street hand in hand with partner beloved of whatever gender and genuinely the chance of being like spat on or attacked is quite low. But like worldwide, you know, this this country deports our queer family who live beside us to countries where they they <coughs> will get attacked. Like yeah. that's just like that's a <coughs> a crass truth and it, it's fucking horrible so I'd like to throw a brick at the establishment as it consi- considerably exists everywhere because it's this like 